Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are still on our epic quest to receive the free official. So, we had another pre-quest uh, pre to do. Last episode, we finished up the pre-Inazuma quest, which made us meet Kazuha. So we only have one more character from the group to meet and whose story to do before we can go, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to meet Mona. Okay, so we just met uh, the queen of floppy hats herself, Mona. Uh... An astrologer who seems to know we are not of this world and she wants us to accompany her to Mondstadt uh, to solve some bit basically she's trying to she, she's trying to look good she's trying to solve some mystical puzzle that great magicians have failed and yeah floppy hat just wants to look good basically <laughs> and uh, you know we help her we get something in return the classic thing uh, but before then we're actually gonna visit a individual um, at this inn over here and talk to him first uh, one thing I will say though is the uh, <laughs> this quest is so weird uh, not weird but it's so funny where it goes but anyway I'll see you when we're over there over at this uh, this inn that she wants to say bye before we head over to Mondstadt all right, here we are at the uh, the rest or the the inn. I think she said it was. So let's see. Uh, let's have a say goodbye before we get off. All right. So the owner has lost a ring. So Mona has basically told us to hey go go kill some slimes because he lost the he lost the ring to some slimes. Hey, go kill some slimes till you find it. But Paimon kept some some bait we used uh, to help Diluc with his. Uh, Dark Knight hero outings back in Mondstadt. She still has a little bit, so we're gonna use that to attract some slimes and make our job a lot easier. <laughs> All right, come on. I probably shouldn't have Into the wind. used they do all already, but whatever. Wind strike. Yeah. There we go. More slimes, damn. Found the ring. Let's take it back to the guy. All right. So Mona has taken our, the reward money we were supposed to get for herself, but she's hungry. So the net, the plan is whenever we go somewhere, order a whole ton of food and take it for, <laughs> and use the money for ourselves. <laughs> so we're gonna sit down and have some lunch with old floppy hat. All right. We kind of felt bad about spending all of Mona's money, so we're we're actually gonna make her a dish. <laughs> so hello. A Paimon got convinced, so now we're making something different than originally planned. <laughs> Wait, I just uh, I was, Oh, never mind. I thought that meat had a paw print in it. I was like, what kind of meat is in the shape of a paw print? You know, let's pick up this world quest. Let's cook this, and then we're gonna go back to Mona. Aye, she really likes the food. <laughs> she doesn't want to admit that she's been starving. But she was starving. So, we fed El Floppy Hat, and she's happy. So hopefully... She'll read the future. Maybe she'll tell us what banners we can roll on. Maybe she'll bless us with some five stars. I don't know. Or or she could tell her fortune in game or something silly and worthless like that. Yeah. I want some I want some info on upcoming five stars. Oh Mona. Wanna read some future and talk about these guys. Call them call them ain't shit, they ain't never gonna be shit. So now now she's gonna be up some uh, some dude. Aha! Go floppy hat, go! Wow, she did a 12k auto there. That's actually pretty good. Alright, we made it to Mondstadt to meet Mona's teacher's successor. Apparently an individual which Mona needs to butt wits with. So, 
Let's see what's going on here. This is Mona's competitor, Klee. Um, she, you might not be able to outwit. She, you might be able to outwit her, Mona. But I'm gonna be honest. I've I've seen her do some stuff. I I, I think you got a better chance of fighting fucking Morax than you get, do Klee. Klee. Klee takes no prisoners. She buried the box Mona's looking for with her new treasure. Klee, Mona, that, that, that box is gone. There, there was a bomb in it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't like to play Klee, and I'm a big fan of, hey, don't roll for characters you don't like to play, but damn, every time I see her, I'm like, I want this character just because she is so flipping adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and like the way she acts is like oh she's so great all right we have acquired Klee's the box Klee buried for safekeeping this one wasn't stolen by an abyss mage but it was stolen by a dendro slime so you know i'm i'm waiting for the story like two years from now whenever you know Klee has a gnosis buried somewhere in monstat and it's stolen by i don't know a hilly trailer or something all right so um the, the great treasure, uh, or the great box, is actually, uh, Mona's, uh, Mona's teacher's, like, silly fan fictions from her youth or some shit, so. Uh, Mona is now, uh, never going back to see her because she's an astrologer, so she can tell she's re read it, and I don't know, she's gonna, like, slap her over the head with a, a water balloon or some shit. I, I, I don't know what the hell these people do to each other. But... <laughs> She's she wants to live in Mondstadt now and wait till she dies. So uh, I can presume it's not going to be very good whatever she read. So uh, we, we're going to ask around see if we can find her a place to live. Oh, there is a ha magical laboratory in Mondstadt that's been sealed with some magic that and Mona might be able to break it and, st and then you know maybe she'd be allowed to stay there. Which um, it's kind of an interesting idea originally, but then you realize that like Albedo lives in this town, Lisa lives in this town. Like Sucrose lives in this town. There's a lot of really like insanely gifted magical individuals in this town, and none of them could break this. So it was a little weird. Anyway. Okay, so um, yeah, we found we found uh, Mona a place to live. Uh, nice. But um, <laughs> Paimon says we should come back and make sure she doesn't starve herself or something, cause she's gonna go broke. <laughs> I love the idea that she's broke. Uh, we'll figure out the Golden Archipelago story or something else. But uh, I, I just love the idea that she's she's so <laughs> bad with money. <laughs> Yet she could literally read the future. You think she'd go roll some lotto notes or something at least once to be fine. But whatever. Uh, this will be the end of the episode. Uh, next time we'll be starting the Golden Apple Archipelago. And that's probably going to take us five, six episodes. But we will get a free official out of it, which is... Mucho value. That's the last member of this team here that we're setting up. She's going to replace Amber right there. And that's going to be our first, like, you know, decent team. We're all going to work on all four characters and get them up. But I hope you uh, enjoyed the episode. I hope you had a great day and hope to catch you in the next one.